I'm Chesley McNeil, and this is your Omega Minute. Nineteen twenty-two marked the beginning of Omega's second decade, and Brother Jasper Austin Atkins served as our Grand Basilisk with the aim of making the fraternity the greatest group of thinking men in America. His administration would focus on economic development and strengthening the internal structure of the organization. In the first few days of January, Omega would lose one of her most beloved sons with the death of Brother Charles Young, America's highest-ranking African-American military officer. The brothers from Alpha and Gamma chapters would swiftly mobilize in coordinating efforts to organize the first memorial services in the nation for Brother Young on Sunday, February 12th in both Washington, D.C. and Boston. These services established a template that other organizations like the NAACP would follow. Recognizing the successful expansion of college chapters in the prior two years, the focus in 1922 centered on building strong graduate chapters in strategic national locations with complete harmony and cooperation throughout the fraternity. A true distinction between undergraduate and graduate chapters was formalized, emphasizing this delineation with graduate chapters' names ending with the letter Omega, while the single letter Omega chapter was reserved for the entrance by a brother upon his death. Thus, five newly chartered chapters began in 1922, with the undergraduate chapters of Psy at Morehouse College and Tall at Atlanta University, emerging from the reorganization of Eta Chapter as Eta Omega, plus the establishment of graduate chapters Alpha Omega in Washington, D.C., Beta Omega in Kansas City, and Theta Omega in Louisville, Kentucky. By the end of 1922, the fraternity had 25 active chapters, 17 undergraduate and eight graduate chapters, as for the charters for Theta and Kappa chapters, they were reissued to Wiley College and Syracuse University. Prior to 1922, the Oracle published two sporadic issues. They were limited in size and scope, highlighting mainly chapter notes. However, this year, with William Gilbert as editor to the Oracle, it would evolve into a full-size periodical, publishing all four quarterly issues with proper functions and adding dedicated editorials and features. In the spirit of progress, a select committee, ultimately led by Brother George Lithcock, oversaw the remodeling of the essential classic of our fraternity into a hallowed treasure, as the Constitution and ritual were revised in lasting form. In another major reform, five men were appointed to look after brothers geographically. Charles William White of the New England States, Carter Lee Marshall for the Mid-Atlantic, Leander Raymond Hill for the Central States, William John Faulkner for the Southern, and George Lewis Vaughn for the Western States. They would be the first district representatives who would function under the supervision of the reestablished office of the Vice Grand Basilis and concentrate on the expansion of the fraternity by visiting existing chapters, scouting out districts for possible new chapters, and using their influence to conquer preferred areas. Other successes of 1922 included the appointment of Brother John H. Purnell from Upsilon Omega Chapter as the first Grand Marshal, the birth of the Colonel Charles Young Memorial Service, and an Omega delegation at the Interfraternity Sorority Conference, the precursor for the National Panhellenic Council, which resulted in a unanimous decision by the Brotherhood that such an organization was necessary. While 1922 brought unmatched professionalism, methodic organization, and intelligent business-minded efficiency to the fraternity, 1923 would see Omega expand internationally. 